She takes a great deal of care on individualizing the needs of every single student. She puts in countless hours um, giving revisions back to students, not just on paper, but meeting them individually. She also spends many, many hours creating opportunities for them to present their poetry in public. Um, and that's great for them and it's great for the community as well. The writing process is something that she goes all the way through with the students, whether they're undergraduate or graduates. Not only is it writing a good poem, but you have to revise it, you have to share it with the public, revise it again, maybe send it out to get published. And she helps her students do that even when they're no longer her students. Even just recently, I've graduated and she's still, hey, what are you doing? Where is your writing? Where, where, how are you using it? How can I help you? Which I think that even as, a, like I said, my te I teacher myself, I hope that I, I do even half of what she does. And sometimes that verbal praise is even more important than the handwritten um, praise that I give them. And so they can believe me when I'm saying, I believe in what you're doing and I, I want to see you do it better. And here is what you're doing well. And here is how I think you can improve. And I think that it builds trust between the professor and the student. And I think it's just a great opportunity for us to make a bigger impact on their scholarship and their creative works. One of Emmy's most defining characteristics was that she made you feel like your voice mattered, which I think we don't do enough as educators to make our students feel like uh, what we have to say is something important. You know, being in a creative writing class uh, where you might have a lot of shy people in the class that are that are always with their their noses in books. Um, she tried to get us out of our out of our comfort zones, so and we excelled because of it. One of the courses I took with her was actually a service learning course where we went out to the community and and read some of shared our poems with with students or like organizations like Mujeres Unidas and. And of course, they went to the juvenile detention center to to expose these individuals to poetry and and have them write and reflect on their lives. Uh, she brings in writers so that we can learn about styles and about different backgrounds of writers and approaches. So she'll find those ways to make opportunities and and use her own professional network. Uh, again, that's that's going above and beyond what a teacher needs to do what she's doing is really important, um, not just for the students, but for the community. And I am so grateful for everything that she's done for me. Congratulations, Profe.